This week's tech tip is using the Snippet tool in Windows 7 to capture parts of your screen. The Snippet tool works really well if you um, go down here and you click on your Start button and you, it'll be either here in your Frequent Programs or you can just type Snip. And when you see it, double click on it to open it. And it goes into Snippet mode. Snippet mode is nice because you can then capture anything on your screen, text and pictures and or pictures. It can be from a PDF, it can be from a website, etc. On the Shen site, we have these scrolling um, news pictures. You can't capture a picture that's in a scroll like that unless you use a tool like Snippet. You simply draw a box around it, then you can copy and paste it into a document, or you can save it as a JPEG, which is what I'm going to do here. Sample. Okay, and you can choose JPEG, GIF, PNG. Okay, So JPEG is a common format, so I'm going to save that picture. So I now have that snipped. Okay, anything on your screen can be snipped. It doesn't have to be a picture or a graphic. For instance, this is the, the weekly website that I'm going to do this week called Desmos, and it's a graphing calculator. If I want to capture this graph, I can simply use the Snippet tool to do so. There it is. Click and draw. And there I have that graph captured, which I can then paste into a, a test that I'm making, or save the snip and put it on my website. Okay, the snippet tool works really good. You can scan a PDF on the copier of something you want, bring it in, open up the PDF, you snip it, capture a chart, a graph, anything from that PDF that you want to use in something else. Okay, it does only save things as pictures, so, so you cannot um, convert them to text, but it works pretty good. You can also use these tools here, the pen and the highlighter, to actually draw on top of the graphic that you bring in. Okay, so you can add to it before you save it as a picture. So that's the snippet tool in Windows 7 and Windows 8.